Weather modeling runs off the basic principle that in order to forecast what will happen, you need to know what is happening. Getting this data happens with weather stations, weather balloons, and commercial airplanes. They've got sensors on them. It's not something that's really going to be perceptible to someone as they're boarding or, or deboarding an airplane. But um, there are sensors on there that as they're taking off from the airport or as they're descending into an airport, they're constantly reporting back weather conditions that then get fed to the National Weather Service. Over a given year, the National Weather Service collects nearly 250 million weather observations from commercial flights. But airline traffic was down 80% from June 2019 to June 2020. Less flights means less planes means less weather data. When you're using a forecast model, what's really critical is what information you put into the model. What are the starting conditions? And then you kind of forecast how those are going to evolve over time. So anytime you reduce the amount of information you're putting into the model, it's going to have a chance um, to have an impact on, on the forecast accuracy. But can it really impact your day-to-day -day forecast? Frank says mostly no. The good news for us is the amount of data that's actually being impacted by COVID is relatively small. Weather technology has become so advanced that much of our data now comes from satellites in outer space. Additionally, cargo planes have picked up the slack and the National Weather Service says they have a multitude of other data sources at their disposal, including weather balloons, surface observations, upgraded radar systems, and ocean buoys. So less accurate forecasts? No way. As meteorologists, we always want as much data as we can get, but commercial airplanes only provide a small amount of that. Hey, they don't call us the weather authority for nothing. Derek Kevra, Fox 2 News.